Hey Jet fans, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's gonna be sort of a different video. Yes, I did do a new camera angle, and if you guys are wondering what I'm watching in the back, I'm watching thir the Thursday Night Football game, the Broncos versus the Browns. So if you guys wanna go check that game out, you can. Uh, I highly recommend watching it, because it is a great game so far. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna go watch that, you can, but today, that is not the point. Today's video, well, before that, you guys like my new background? Uh, my friend's mom actually gave, actually sent this to me, the on-air thing. So thank you so much for for mailing that to me. It It's very cool and I love it. Let me see if it's actually on. Let me see. It's, let me just, it's on, yes. So I'm gonna turn my ring light off for a sec to show you guys what it looks like in the dark. So, and let me shut my lamp off for a sec. So, you can see, guys, you can see the uh, light here right now, guys. But right now, I just want to say thank you to that, uh, to my friend's mom for sending me that. That is an awesome gift. Thank you for that. And that will be up there the, for the rest of my videos. But today, guys, we have a uh, thing. It's, like I said, it's a little bit of a different video today. For people who are wanting to broadcast sports, like myself, because I I love broadcasting football, I love broadcasting sports in general. So what I'm going to show you guys today, you you can't have a good sports broadcast without a scoreboard, right? Say you're broadcasting it live to YouTube and you want to create your own like little scoreboard so people can see the score, the quarter, or the period, whatever sport you're using. Technically, if you're coming here for like baseball, soccer, basketball. You can do that. It's going to be very similar. So I'd stick around. But this video, this scoreboard is meant for football. So if you guys, uh, but if you guys are looking to make basketball, soccer, baseball, you could stick around. It's just like quarters and periods and innings. That's just going to be different. So you guys, if you guys don't have Photoshop like myself and you want to use a uh, app for or a website for beginners, go to Pixlr E. Pixlr E is a very good photo editor. Here's the, uh, see my mouse in the top left corner? You see that Pixlr E has a really good website. It's kind of like, it's almost the exact same thing as Photoshop. So what you want to do, oh, I can probably accidentally did that. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to have, of course, the checker background. You never want to switch it. To anything else so you always want to have this background because that's if you add a white background it's going to add the white with the image so you always want to have your background like this what you want to do this is what i do i don't know if you guys do this but for beginners this is what what's best so what you guys want to do is click down here and click shape you're going to see this little cross thing right here you're going to want to for me i'm going to do a football scoreboard i'm going to create my own so what you want to do so i'm going to create a box that looks Maybe around that big. Okay. So then I want to create a, another box that's around same height. You got to make sure they're the same height. So if they're not, just like redo them a little. That looks about right. So now I'm going to add a third box. And that looks like it's about the same height. It's not, but we'll deal with it. So, what you want to do, see, they're all black right here, the colors. So, if you guys want to make them lighter, so, if you want to click on the first one, let's say, let's do the Jets, for instance. The Jets colors are green, uh, green and white. So, what you want to do is go over towards the green category. So, what you want to do is click on, so you want to do is uh, click on the Jets, or click on the bar that you want. Um, click up here, go to fill, click on the colors. Since the jets are green and black, I'm gonna go for green. So you wanna to go to right towards the green section. Select your shade of green that you want. I think jets might lead. I think that's good for the jets. So if you're like, this this one is for like the quarters and the time and stuff. So what you wanna do now is click on that. Uh, so you wanna hold on. So you wanna add um so yeah, you always wanna keep on shape. I just made a mistake. So you always wanna keep on shape. You never wanna go back to select when you're trying to change the color. So always still keep on shape. 
So press on the box that you're looking for. Go to the fill. Click on the color. I'm going to choose gray. Because that's a good, like, uh, separation. for So you can see, like, the quarter and stuff. So what you're going to do now is click on the third box. Click the color. Let's say they're facing the Patriots, for example. Because they're facing the Patriots this weekend. So they're red and blue. Or red, white, and blue, but for this instance, I'm gonna go with blue. That's their basically their main color. I'm gonna check this shade of blue looks pretty good. So yeah, this this looks like a pretty decent um scoreboard. But if you do want to do advanced, this is what uh I will do a scene of that after I do this scoreboard. So if you're just trying to make a simple one, I recommend doing this. So um you just wanna add your text. I'm gonna put jets. You probably want to do it in all caps. So you probably, if you're, you probably want to put it here. I'm going to put their record down. Just so. I'm going to put their record down. You might, if you want to, uh, right again, if you want to change the, uh, height, like the height, uh, size of your, uh, writing, you're going to want to click on the long bar down there. Push up on your mouse or your mouse pad or whatever you're using and make it smaller. Maybe that size is good. So I'm gonna drag it around there. You're gonna click on the plus over here again. Click on text, double click, backspace. You're gonna click the score. Let's just say they have 20 points. See, this is a little too close. So what you wanna get to do since oh yeah see when i'm trying to move the one and four the 20 keeps on moving so the problem is you see here on over here one and four of uh, the 20 is on the top what you want to do is put one and four over the 20 so that means you now have control so you want to move a little bit that should be good all right so now what you want to do is move the 20 back or whatever your number you're using for your score all right that looks good the Jets whole side that looks good. Um, so now we are going to do text again. Let's say it's the third quarter. Third, wait. Uh, QTR quarter three. Let's make this a little smaller. Quarter three. Let's add the time. Let's do five minutes left in the game. Or five minutes left in the first quarter. So now you're going to put the time over here or whatever you want to place it. Then if you want to do a play clock, which I recommend doing, you can. So put call in 25 seconds or how long your play clock is. It's different because in our league it's 40 seconds because I think we're younger. So there we go. We have two boxes filled. Now what we got to do is put Patriots. You see, this fills up because it can't fit Patriots, the record, and score. So what you want to do again is shrink the size. You want to shrink it more because Patriots is a bigger word than Jets. So you don't want to shrink it too short like I just did. So slightly adjust it. Like that, right there. That should be good. So, no, I don't want to do sex there. Okay, now now I do. Okay, so now you're going to put their record in. Their record is, I believe, two and four. Two and four. It's a little too big. Yet again, lower the size. Put it right there, actually. I'll move it over a little bit. Right there. Okay, uh, this is not the best scoreboard. It's just, it's just learning how to make one. So yeah, I'm gonna let's just say zero points. Let's just say zero points. Okay, twenty nothing. See, this is a pretty good scoreboard. I'm still learning how to make a touchdown animation, like how people do in the NFL and college games. I'm still learning how to do that. I don't know how to yet, but yeah. If you guys are looking to pray, uh, do a pretty advanced scoreboard. Let's do that real quick. So create new. Uh, let's just not worry about that real quick. So what you want to do again is again go there. All right, let me just show you guys a quick design of mine, and 
it see how you like it so if i'm broadcasting games when i'm older which i like like i said earlier i i would i love to broadcast sports especially football so i'm gonna create a scoreboard so i am sorry for the background noise i don't know if you can hear that but there's a helicopter flying very low over my house i think you guys can hear that hold on i believe you guys can hear that I don't know. Okay, so that looks like a little too big. So let me just show you guys where this. So I made this. Um, it's a quick scoreboard, as you can see, guys. Uh, I'm actually just going to make it again. So I'm going to create a rectangle About right there. Do another rectangle right there. And then another rectangle right there. Okay, now I'm going to make this one blue for my town. Let's do blue. Okay, I'm going to make this one gray to like separate the colors like between so you don't get mixed up. Like so say this was say this one was blue. You'd probably think that was still on the ma uh, the Hawks side, but uh, let's just say the other team is red. Now that's complete. Now you just gotta add the text. Um, so if you guys want to add pictures, this is what you want to do. So let's delete this text real quick. If you guys wanted to add pictures, so go to the plus, go to image, and then go to your files. So. If you want to go to here, you also might want to shrink it. So I'm going to shrink my image. That should be good. And then, uh, if you also, if you like, don't want to, uh, if you don't want to add an image, just keep it where it is. Don't do anything. But I'm going to add an image to this side for that sake. So now let's add a text. Let's put Nighthawks because that's my team's name. So Nighthawks. It's a pretty long word, so we'll put that right there. We're not gonna put our, we're not gonna put the record because the Hawks is quite big enough, so we only have enough to fill that. So let's just say we have twenty three points. Twenty three, right there. Now we just have to say that it's the fourth quarter. Quarter. Quarter four. Just lower the size right there. And then let's add the score. Uh sorry. Uh let's do eight minutes left in the game. Eight minutes. Put the play clock. Actually, let's let's do the down, actually, yes. First and ten. Person 10. Okay, let's just not add the play clock because that doesn't really it could matter actually So if you do want to add a play clock, you could add a little play clock in there. So let's just say 25 second play clock You might want to make it really short because like maybe like right there Yeah, that seems good enough. Okay, let's just name this team the Panthers let's just say Panthers. We put Panthers there and put the score. Let's just say it's 23 to 17. So there you have it, guys. That is how you make a scoreboard for broadcasting to YouTube. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Thumbs up button. And if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome Jets videos. I know this one wasn't a Jets video. I just, um, a lot of my friends were asking me if, how they wanted, if they were to broadcast sports. Or, or like, they were asking me how do I, how do I make these and stuff. And, like, how do I make the scoreboards. This is how, guys. But I will be out with a new Jets video tomorrow. Um, 
And yeah, guys, I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out, Jet fans.